हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for 21st of december so let's start first is nitin gadkari has launched digital elv trading platform for elv certificate of deposit along with automotive circulatory orchestra i repeat nitin Gadkari who is our minister of road transport and highways he have launched DG ELV right DG ELV this is an authorized end of life vehicle certificate right this is for all the vehicles who have completed 15 years not just this remember there was a national scrapping policy also and under this end of uh, end of life vehicle certificate was launched so that all the vehicles that are old right they are not working properly they are causing pollution while running so in order to scrap those vehicles this initiative was launched right here you can see nitin gadkari ji launched digital elv and authorized end of life certificate of deposit trading platform and automotive circulatory orchestra by meta materials circular markets in new delhi This launch was organized by MMCM in collaboration with Material Cycle Association of India and Policy Times Chambers of Commerce. The launch is in line with the commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as we see that auto vehicles they create a lot of pollution while running. If we talk about this DG ELV this is developed by MMCM and authorized by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways and this offers a platform for the users to lawfully trade their CDs. right that is your certificate of deposit a certificate of deposit is issued when a user submits a vehicle for scrapping at a registered vehicle scrapping facility that means your older vehicles can go and get scrapped there and for which you will be getting a certified a uh, certificate of deposit right it is in beta phase over the last 3 months that means it is in trial basis and this dg elv has facilitated the trade of over 800 certificates benefiting elv vehicle owners this ensures transparency and reward sustainable efforts by the elv owners right and there was a scrapping policy we talked about national vehicle scrapping policy it was launched by prime minister narendra modi in august 2021 and it is to eliminate unfit and polluting vehicles fostering a circular economy and the policy came into effect on 1st of april 2022 the implementation of this policy will benefit the economy while and reduce the environmental pollution by 20 to 25% states and uts will provide up to 25% tax rebate on road tax for new vehicles after scrapping old ones and the policy outlined in the Union budget of twenty one twenty two states that personal vehicles are subjected to fitness tests after twenty years and commercial vehicles need testing after every uh, after fifteen years. Right. Also, states and UTs will provide up to 
25% tax rebate on road tax for new vehicles after scrapping the old ones and the policy outlined in this budget states that the vehicles are subjected to fitness test after 20 years correct so this is important they will be providing up to 25% correct so coming back this DGELV, this is a certificate of deposit that was launched by ministry of road transport and highways on submitting your older vehicles next Next is unemployment rate among the graduates declined to 13.4% between July 2022 to June 2023. I repeat, as per the periodic labor force survey released by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, the unemployment rate for graduates aged 15 and above declined to 13.4% in 2022-2023 from 14.9% in July 2021 to June 2022. If we talk about Chandigarh and Delhi, Right, they have the lowest unemployment rate for graduates at 5.6% and 5.7% respectively. Apart from this, the highest unemployment rate is in Andaman and Nicobar Islands at 33%, followed by Ladakh at 26.5% and Andhra Pradesh at 24%. Right. Then among the largest states, if we are talking about, then the unemployment rate highest was in Rajasthan with 23.1%. Let me show you here, Chandigarh and Delhi, lowest unemployment rate for graduates at 5.6 and 5.7% respectively. Then highest unemployment rate is in Andaman and Nicobar Island at 33%, followed by Ladakh at 26.5% and Andhra Pradesh at 24%. Then among the largest states, it is the unemployment rate was the highest in Rajasthan at 23.1% and Odisha at 21.9%. Next, next is ECG's Pithampur facility has joined Global Lighthouse Network by WE. I repeat, ECG Associates Capsules Private Limited. This is a pharmaceutical contact manufacturer in Pithampur, Madhya Pradesh, and they have recently joined World Economic Forum's Global Lighthouse Network as a factory lighthouse. Right? New, if we talk about this, remember 21 lighthouses that includes your 16 factories and five end-to-end -end lighthouses and four sustainable lighthouses has been recognized in 2023. These lighthouses, they represent eight countries and that is your China, Germany, India, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Thailand, Turkey and USA. Correct? Mark this. Uh, what is this? A global lighthouse network. This we are talking about that uh, Pithampur, this facility in Pithampur. That is a pharmaceuticals manufacturer company in Pithampur, Madhya Pradesh has joined this global lighthouse network. This is initiative of World Economic Forum and McKenzie and Company. Correct? And it is a community of manufacturers that showing leadership in applying four IR technologies, right? This is a leadership in transforming factories, value chain, business model and operational gains. Correct. So that is your global lighthouse network and ACG's Pithampur, uh, Pithampur facility that is in Madhya Pradesh has recently joined it. Next, next is banking and finance. HDFC Life and Karur Vasai Bank have entered into a corporate agency agreement that is a bank currency agreement and we have seen what is a bank currency agreement bank currency is when a bank uh, when a insurance company sells their insurance product to the customers of the bank it is bank currency right and recently here you can see Karur Vasai Bank signed a corporate agency agreement with HDFC Life Insurance Company to empanel HDFC Life as an additional bank currency partner of Karur Vasai Bank for the life insurance category and here remember insurance for all by 2047 this is the target year that you need to remember that india is aiming or irdi is aiming that we should uh or irdi is aiming that everyone should get insured in india by 2047 correct next if we talk about karur vasai bank md and ceo will be b ramesh babu Headquarter is in Karur, Tamil Nadu. It was established in 1916 and tagline here is Smart Way to Bank. If we talk about HDFC Life Insurance Company, it is a joint venture between HDFC Limited and Standard Life Aberdeen. And here MD and CEO will be Vibha Padalkar. Headquarter is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. And it was established in 2000. Next. Paycraft has partnered with NSDL Payments Bank and NPCI to launch Corporate Transit I repeat, Paycraft Solutions Private Limited, they have launched 
वन नेशन कॉर्पोरेट कार्ड इन पार्टनरशिप विद एन एस डी एल पेमेंट्स बैंक एंड एन पी सी आई दैट इज योर नेशनल पेमेंट कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इट विल बी ऑफर टू द इंडियन कस्टमर्स पैन इंडिया फ्रॉम जून एंड टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एन एस बैंक इट इज हेडक्वार्टर्ड वेयर इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र इट इज अ होली ऑन सब्सिडरी ऑफ एन एस डी एल दैट इज नेशनल सिक्योरिटी डिपॉजिट लिमिटेड एंड एन पी सी आई नेशनल पेमेंट कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज अ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इस्टेब्लिश बाई आर बी आई एंड इंडियन बैंक्स एसोसिएशन राइट सो कमिंग बैक पेक्राफ्ट पार्टनर विद एन एस डी एल पेमेंट्स बैंक एंड एन पी सी आई टू लॉन्च अ कॉरपोरेट ट्रांजेक्ट कार्ड दैन दिस वन नेशन कॉरपोरेट कार्ड और दिस नेशनल ट्रांजेक्ट कार्ड इट इज बिल्ट ऑन एन इंडिजीनियसली डेवलप्ड मल्टी वॉलेट प्लेटफॉर्म विद ट्रांजेक्ट इशुएंस एंड प्रोसेस कैपेबिलिटी द कार्ड अलाउज द कार्ड होल्डर्स टू ट्रेवल अक्रॉस इंडिया ऑन एनी पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट दैट एक्सेप्ट द बैंक इशूड कार्ड ऑल्सो द कार्ड सर्व एज अ tax benefit instrument for the corporate employees and also features a corporate expense management platform then if we talk about it here you can see the card allows the card holders to travel across india on any public transport that accepts the bank issued card and the card crafted on the national common mobility card specification with offline capability is in line with the government of india's one nation one card vision the card enables transaction across four channels atm point of sale machine e-commerce website and metro stations who is the chief executive officer here of paycraft solutions private limited ambrish parekh and headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra and it was established in 2013 next ugro capital has raised 30 million dollar through ncds from netherlands fmo i repeat you grow capital limited that is a nbfc they have raised 30 million dollar that is approximately 250 crore rupees through non covered non convertible debentures that is ncds from fmo that is the dutch entrepreneurial development bank based in the hodge netherland right in rupees denominated ncds issuance was fully subscribed by fmo that is the dutch entrepreneurial development bank right mark this also apart from this you grow capital has offered credit to more than 80000 small businesses over the last 5 years and in 2023 yugro capital has raised over 340 crore rupees in equity capital this includes 240 crore rupees from the danish development finance institution and investment fund for developing countries right if we talk about yugro capital limited who is the founder and managing director here sachindra nath headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra next aditya birla sun life insurance limited right and idfc first they entered into a bankruptcy agreement again uh, idfc first bank they have entered into a absli that is aditya birla sun life insurance with them this is the life insurance and this is the bank they entered into a bankruptcy agreement right so mark this if we talk about aditya birla sun life insurance who is the managing director and chief executive officer here kamlesh rao headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra and if we talk about idfc first bank here md and chief executive officer will be v vedyanathan headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra it was established in 2018 next eib that is your european investment bank they invest 40 million dollar in private equity fund amiscus capital i repeat european investment bank they have announced the investment of up to 40 million dollar that is 37 million euro in the private equity fund amiscus amicus capital partners fund 2 that is managed by amicus india capital partners this is a co closed ended fund which supports investment in india small and medium sized enterprises to strengthen their existing technology infrastructure the fund will prioritize investment in digital first business model and the investment promotes crowding in and diversification on the way investors base if we talk about european investment bank who is the president here Werner Hoyer headquarter is in Luxembourg and it was in established in 1958 so it is European Investment Bank they have announced an investment of 40 million dollar in private equity fund Amicus Capital next next is RBL Bank they have launched an electronic bank guarantee on NESL platform what is this ebg electronic bank guarantee this is equivalent to a traditional paper based bank guarantee this is issued by a bank to a beneficiary on the behalf of the applicant promising to pay the beneficiary the specific amount of money if the applicant fails to fulfill the certain obligation so that is your bank guarantee and now earlier it used to take 3 to 4 business days to get the physical bank guarantee but with the help of ebg that is electronic bank guarantee this process is conducted in just a single 
दे सो कमिंग बैक आर बी एल बैंक लिमिटेड दे एंटर इन टू अ पार्टनरशिप विद एन ई एस एल टू इशू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैंक गारंटी प्रोडक्ट्स बिल्ट ऑन द फ्रेमवर्क दैट आर एनेबल्ड बाई एन ई एस एल एंड दिस पार्टनरशिप इनकॉर्पोरेट्स एन ई एस एल्स एक्सपर्टीज इन ई स्टैंपिंग एंड ई साइनिंग विद एन एम टू मेक द ट्रांजेक्शन सिक्योर दिस कोलेब्रेशन विल ऑल्सो रिड्यूस द टर्न अराउंड टाइम एंड ऑफर एनहेंस वैल्यू प्रपोजिशन टू द कस्टमर्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एन ई एस एल नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस सर्विस लिमिटेड हु इज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर हेयर देवर ज्योति राय चौधरी एंड हेडक्वार्टर इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट इकोनॉमी एंड बिजनेस जेन ए आई कुड बूस्ट इंडिया जी डी पी बाय वन पॉइंट फाइव ट्रिलियन डॉलर बाय फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी एज पर द रिपोर्ट रिलीज बाय ई वाई इंडिया आई रिपीट अकॉर्डिंग टू अर्नस्ट एंड यंग इंडिया अ रिपोर्ट वॉज टाइटल दैट इज द एल डी आफ इंडिया जनरेटिव ए आई इज पोटेंशियल टू एक्सेलरेट इंडिया डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिस जनरेटिव ए आई जेन ए आई एडोप्शन कुड बूस्ट इंडिया ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट बाय थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन बिलियन डॉलर टू फोर थर्टी एट बिलियन डॉलर बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाइन टू ट्वेंटी थर्टी रिफ्लेक्टिंग अ फाइव पॉइंट नाइन टू सेवन पॉइंट टू परसेंट इंक्रीज ओवर द बेस लाइन ओवर द लास्ट सेवन ईयर्स ओवर दिस कमिंग सेवन ईयर्स दैट इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी थर्टी दिस कुड इम्पैक्ट कुड रीच ओवर वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट टू टू वन पॉइंट फाइव ट्रिलियन डॉलर दैट एक्यूमुलेट्स और दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स टू एन एडिशनल जीरो पॉइंट नाइन टू वन पॉइंट वन परसेंट ऑफ द एनुअल सी ए जी आर राइट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द रिपोर्ट द रिपोर्ट एनालिस द की ट्रेंड्स इन द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड जनरेटिव आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इको सिस्टम एंड इट सजेस्ट एन एंटरप्राइज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एजेंडा राइट एंड ऑल्सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए आई वी आर सींग द डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल नॉट जस्ट डिफरेंट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द सेक्टर्स आर इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग इट एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस दिस जनरेटिव ए आई कुड बूस्ट द इंडिया जी डी पी बाय वन पॉइंट फाइव ट्रिलियन डॉलर टिल द ईयर टिल द नेक्स्ट सेवन ईयर्स दैट इज टिल ट्वेंटी थर्टी एंड दिस रिपोर्ट वॉज रिलीज बाय ई वाई इंडिया दैट इज अनस्टैंड एंड यंग इंडिया नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज अवार्ड्स एंड रिकग्निशन आई एन एस शिवाजी हैज रिसीव वी ए डी एम बी आर चौधरी वीर चक्र आई रिपीट आई एन एस शिवाजी इंडियन नेवीज प्रीमियर मेरीन इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट रिसीव द ओरिजिनल वीर चक्र मेडल विच वॉज अवॉर्डेड टू लेट वाइस एडमिरल बिनॉय रॉय चौधरी फॉर हिज गैलेंट एक्शन ड्यूरिंग द नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन इंडिया पाकिस्तान वॉर करेक्ट सो मार्क दिस द ओरिजिनल मेडल ऑफ हिम वॉज रिलीज इंडियन नेवी आई एन एस दैट इज इंडियन नेवीज प्रीमियम मरीन इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज रिसीव दिस ओरिजिनल मेडल करेक्ट मार्क दिस वीर चक्र दिस इज एन इंडियन वेर टाइम इंडियन वॉर टाइम मिलिट्री ब्रेवरी अवार्ड प्रेजेंटेड फॉर द एक्ट ऑफ गैलेंट्री ऑन द बैटल फील्ड ऑन लैंड ऑन एयर और एट सी इट इज वन ऑफ द सिक्स गैलेंट्री अवार्ड एंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रिसिडेंस ऑफ दिस अवार्ड इज ऑन द टॉप इट इज परम वीर चक्र देन अशोका चक्र महावीर चक्र कीर्ति चक्र वीर चक्र एंड शौर्य चक्र राइट एंड रिमेंबर हेयर बैन रॉय चौधरी ही वॉज एन इंडियन नेवी इंजीनियर हु सर्व एज द कमांडर टू द आई एन एस विक्रांत ड्यूरिंग नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन इंडिया पाकिस्तान वॉर करेक्ट एंड दिस एक्ट ऑफ हिम ही टुक वेरियस सेवरल इनोवेटिव रिपेयर बॉयलर ऑन आई एन एस विक्रांत फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम विदाउट एनी असिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश ओरिजिनल इक्विपमेंट मैनुफैक्चर एंड दिस एक्ट अर्न हिम द टाइटल ऑफ एन इंजीनियर पार एक्सीलेंस अलॉन्ग विद वीर चक्र अवार्ड करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज इजरायली फिल्म चिल्ड्रन ऑफ नो बडी विन्स द बेस्ट फिल्म अवार्ड एट कोलकाता इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल आई रिपीट इजरायली फिल्म चिल्ड्रन ऑफ नो बडी रिटर्न एंड डायरेक्टेड बाय एरेज टेडमोर हैज वन द गोल्डन रॉयल बेंगल टाइगर अवार्ड फॉर द बेस्ट फिल्म इन द इंटरनेशनल कॉम्पिटिशन कैटेगरी एट द ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ कोलकाता इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दैट वॉज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन फिफ्थ टू ट्वेल्थ ऑफ दिसंबर इन कोलकाता वेस्ट बंगाल राइट सो टेक अ नोट ऑफ इट दैट इजरायली फिल्म नहीं वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द फिल्म इट इज चिल्ड्रन ऑफ नो बडी इट हैज वन द बेस्ट फिल्म अवार्ड ऑफ कोलकाता इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल राइट सो टेक अ नोट ऑफ इट इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज रिलेटिव स्पोर्ट्स इंडियाज हार्दिक सिंह एंड सविता हैज वन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एफ आई एच हॉकी स्टार अवार्ड आई रिपीट 
इंडियाज मैन हॉकी टीम मिड फील्डर हार्दिक सिंह एज यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर एंड इंडियन वीमेंस हॉकी टीम कैप्टन सविता पूनिया एज यू कैन सी आर इन द पिक्चर हैज़ वन एफ आई एच मैंस प्लेयर ऑफ द ईयर एंड एफ आई एच वीमेंस गोल कीपर ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड रिस्पेक्टिवली राइट सो गोल कीपर ऑफ द ईयर वीमेंस गोल कीपर ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड टू सविता पूनिया एंड एफ आई एच मैंस प्लेयर ऑफ द ईयर टू हार्दिक सिंह लेट मी शो यू सम अदर अवार्ड्स दैट आर इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर यू कैन सी ऑल द अवार्ड्स दैट आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू शुड go through them right next kkr bids michel stark for 24.75 crore rupees as the most expensive player in ipl i repeat australian cricket player michel stark became the most expensive player in the history of ipl as he was bought by kolkata night riders for 24.75 crore rupees to play in the 2024 ipl season Michel Stark breaks Pat Cummins Australia's record of buying with 20.5 crore rupees by the Sunrisers Hyderabad and Malika Sagar an art collector and consultant became the IPL's first female auctioneer since 2008 this is also important next day's 2024 IPL auction was held for the first time outside the India at the Coca Cola Arena in Dubai UAE on 19th of December 2023 next next is important days international human solidarity day observed on 20th of december and it is to raise public awareness of the importance of solidarity in addressing global challenges such as poverty inequality and injustice the day also aims to remind governments of all the countries to respect their commitments to international agreements first ever international human solidarity day was observed in the year 2006 next is state news Himachal government has initiated Rajiv Gandhi Swarojgar Yojana to promote self employment right i repeat government of himachal pradesh initiated initiated this rajiv gandhi swarojgar yojana right and this is with an outlay of 680 crore rupees and this scheme was launched by himachal government to generate self employment opportunities and promote entrepreneurship among the local youth in the initial phase this scheme is for hiring e taxis by various entities including the government departments local authorities etc and the government guarantees employment and offers startup assistance to the youth of himachal pradesh by providing 50% subsidy on the purchase of e taxis under this scheme that is rajiv gandhi swarojgar yojana correct himachal resident aged above 27 years of age with 7 years of driving experience will be provided here with this taxi educational qualifications will be 10 plus uh, 10 plus 2 right and a valid driver license aadhar card will should also be there who is the chief minister of himachal pradesh sukhvinder singh sukhu who is the governor shiv pratap shukla right so friends these were your important current affairs for the day now let's go for a quick one liner revision nitin gadkari has launched digi elv trading platform for elv certificates of deposit along with automotive circulatory orchestra unemployment rate among the graduates declined to 13.4% between july 2022 to june 2023 ecg's pithampur facility has joined global lighthouse network by world economic forum hdfc life and karur vasai bank entered into a corporate agency agreement paycraft has partnered with nsdl payment banks and npca to launch corporate transit card ugro capital has raised 30 million dollar through ncds from netherlands fmo ABSLI Limited and IDFC first entered into a bankruptcy agreement. EIB invest 40 million dollar in private equity fund Amicus Capital. RBL Bank they have launched electronic bank guarantee on NESL platform. Next, Gen AI could boost India's GDP by 1.5 trillion dollar that is generative AI by the next 5 years as per the by next 7 years as per the report by ENY that is Ernst and Young India. Then INS Shivaji received the Vice Admiral B R Chaudhary's Veer Chakra, and this was the original medal that was given. Then Israeli film Children of Nobody win the Best Film Award at Kolkata International Film Festival. India's Hardik Singh and Savita has won 2023 F I H Hockey Star Awards. Right, K K R has bid Michel Stark for 24.75 crore rupees, and he became the most expensive player in the I P L history. then international human solidarity day observed on 20th of december himachal government has initiative rajiv gandhi swarojgar yojana to promote self employment right so these are some important current affairs for the day friends now let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial for your learning next the dash edition of joint military exercise winbacks between india and vietnam began at hanoi vietnam in december 
so remember this joint military exercise winbacks this is the fourth edition of winbacks that was between india and vietnam location is hanoi vietnam it was from 11 to 21st of december correct next Which bank has recently launched an exclusive saving bank account that was named Nari Shakti Saving Bank account and it is for the women. So which is that bank? It is Bank of India. Right? Bank of India, they have launched an exclusive saving bank account named Nari Shakti Saving Bank account. It is specifically for women, women who are above age the age of 18 and they have independent source of income. Next, which of the following abrogated article of the Indian Constitution has given special status to the state of jammu and kashmir we all know recently this article was removed it is article 370 right and this was upheld or the supreme court of india upheld the abrogation of article 370 by president order and it was on 5th of august you should definitely know the date in 2019 correct this article 370 granted to jammu and kashmir allowing it to make their own laws in the matter except finance defense foreign affairs and communication then article 35a remember this article was further provision added to article 370 in 1954 that empowered the law makers to ensure special rights and privileges for permanent residents of the state right next which country has recently unveiled advanced karar combat drones armed with air to air missiles it is iran right iran has unveiled advanced karar combat drones armed with air to air missiles with an operational range of 1000 kilometers that is roughly 620 miles it is equipped with mazed this is a thermal missile with a range of 8 kilometers developed indigenously by iran mazed is also of iran remember this can be asked correct name the life insurance company that recently introduced the alpha wealth plan to provide extensive financial security for the policy holders and their families so it is your canara hsbc life insurance right this is the name of the life insurance company that have introduced alpha wealth plan to provide extensive financial security for the policy holders and their families the product offers increased flexibility allowing investors to modify premiums premium payment terms policy durations etc next who has been recently elected as the prime minister of poland tell me he is donald tusk right he is the new prime minister of poland and he won through a vote of confidence in parliament and he took oath as the prime minister of poland next which country has recently reappointed geraldo zao martins as the prime minister so geraldo martins has been reappointed as the prime minister of Guinea Bissau correct next which organization has launched various initiatives to address methane emissions globally which is that organization it is world bank right world bank they have launched a partnership platform namely global methane reduction platform for development that is CH4D this is the name of the new platform that was launched by world bank correct and this is a hub for methane reduction in agriculture and waste and the global methane reduction partnership this will basically focus on reducing the methane leaks in the oil and gas sector basically to reduce for reducing methane leaks in oil and gas sector this ch4d that is your global methane reduction platform for development this is a hub for methane reduction in agriculture and waste that was launched to reduce the leaks of methane in the oil and gas sector correct so it is world bank correct they have recently launched this partnership that is named as global methane reduction platform ch4d the proposals for this was launched during the cop 28 of the united nations framework convention on climate change that is currently being held in u dubai uae from 30th of november till 12th of december correct apart from this remember world bank 
they have also launched a 18th month 18 month blueprint for methane reduction right under this only then if we talk about world bank who is the president ajay banga headquarter is in washington dc and it was established in 1944 many products recently got the gi tag from uttarakhand right from uttarakhand recently how many product recently got the gi tag so remember it is a total of 18 product recently got the gi tag among these 18 products 13 are your agriculture food agriculture goods four are your handicraft goods correct one food stuff and one manufactured good has received the gi tag correct and here uttarakhand became the first state in the country to get the highest number of tags in a single day that is 18 gi tags in a single day then if i ask you which is the state having the maximum number of gi tags it is tamil nadu correct if we talk about Uttarakhand, who is the Chief Minister Puskar Singh Dhami, who is the Governor here, Retired General Gurmeet Singh, Capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun, right? And here remember a festival that is Kang Dali Festival is observed. Moving on, which ministry launched GIS application Gram Manchitra, right? I repeat recently which is that ministry that launched this gis application gram man chitra what is gis geographic information system gis is your geographic information system correct they have launched this application that is gram man chitra which is that ministry it is ministry of panchayati raj right it is ministry of panchayati raj and it is to encourage technology driven planning by the gram panchayat i repeat it is to encourage technology driven planning by gram panchayat right so this is your gram manchintra that is your gis application launched by ministry of panchayati raj this particular application will serve as a support system for the formulation of gram panchayat development plan right and also remember gram panchayat is responsible for the overall development of the village they play a key role in providing basic services like drinking water and sanitation next is asian development bank they have signed 175 million dollar loan agreement to improve the connectivity in which state so it was asian development bank along with government of india and which state along with which state they have signed to improve the connectivity in that particular area so it is madhya pradesh right asian development bank along with government of india and madhya pradesh they together sign an agreement worth 175 million dollar and it is to enhance the connectivity of the state's road network across the 14 districts of madhya pradesh right mark this here asian development bank they will enhance the madhya pradesh road development corporation limited by upgradation of almost 500 kilometers of road right it will also develop strategies for green technology and electric vehicle infrastructure if we talk about asian development bank here you can see president is masasugu asakawa headquarter in manila philippines it was established in 1966 and 68 members are there if we talk about madhya pradesh governor will be mangubhai patel chief minister shivraj singh chuhan wildlife sanctuary shinghori wildlife sanctuary sun gadial wildlife sanctuary virangna durgavati wildlife sanctuary and there is a tiger reserve that you can remember panna tiger reserve and sanjay tiger reserve correct next which aerospace company has recently launched Zook 2 Yao 3, the world's first liquid oxygen methane powered launch vehicle that is carrying three satellites into space? It is Land Space. Right? This is the name of the organization from space. This is an aerospace company that has launched Zook 2 Yao 3. This is the world's first liquid oxygen methane powered launch vehicle that was carrying three satellites. Right? Then apart from this, this is landscape, right? You need to remember one more company that is 
iSpace. iSpace is that company from China only that has completed the first reusable launch vehicle test. China's first reusable launch vehicle test. Next, when was the UN International Mountain Day observed across the globe with the theme Restoring Mountain Ecosystem? Right, so 11th of December is observed as UN International Mountain Day that is observed across the globe with the theme Restoring Mountains Ecosystem. The first ever International Mountains Day was observed on 11th of December 2020, uh, 2003. Right, in 2003 it was observed for the first time. Next, in November, Dash became the first woman to assume the role of commanding officer at the Armed Forces Transfusion Center in Delhi, Can. So she is Colonel Sunita B.S. Right, she's an army officer in the Indian Medical Corps and she became the first woman to assume the role of the commanding officer at the Armed Force Transfusion Center in Delhi, Kent. Next, which country has joined Battery Energy Storage System Consortium? That is BESS Consortium. So, which is it? It is our country, India. Right? During the 2023 COP28, right? India became a member of BESS Consortium. Correct? This was led by Global Leadership Council of the Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet. A total of 11 countries, including India, have joined the BESS Consortium during the COP28. And the B this BESS consortium, that is BEST consortium, it is committed to achieve a target of 5 gigawatt of battery energy storage system by the end of the year 2020. Next is our homework section. First, Sultan Haitham bin Tariq, who was recently on state visit to India, is Sultan and Prime Minister of which country? Second, recently G7 nations have planned to block the entry of which country's diamonds into their markets. Third, Houthi rebels that they were making news recently originate from which country. Third, fourth, the Essequibo region that was recently making news is a subject of dispute between which two countries. And fifth, the term middle technology trap was making news in context with which country recently. Right, middle technology trap. So these are the five homework question, friends. Maximum to maximum participation from all the students are required who are watching the video. If you find the session interesting, all you have to do is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same. So that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue